It's game on. The Vikings playing for keeps now, needing better outings than that work in Chicago and last week in Green Bay in hopes of really being playoff worthy. We're inside the Vikings HQ on the indoor practice turf to see the other side of Vikings football, the giving back side as they show off their family ties. While the Twins are in roster redo, we're looking through memorabilia with one of baseball's best keepers and our fantasy guru in the house to set your roster. It's time to get your game on. Anders only had five completions. Looking for number six. End zone picked off. And it's Morgan Burnett. Has the worst part of the season arrived? It's been nearly a month since the Vikings were home. They've limped back after the bruising at the hand of the Bears and a pounding thanks to the Packers. The road winds home. Chicago's in town for the second meeting in three weeks. Greetings once again from the Dakotas to downtown Minneapolis. We're actually just a few minutes out of downtown at the Vikings indoor practice facility where family and football mix with this great adoption fun fest that the Spielmans and Brzezinski's put on every single year. I'm delighted to show you a little taste of that. As you know, I'm big into adoption with my golf for the gift. We'll talk more about that later, but it is great to have you here. This is game on. Big weekend, Bears are back, Vikings busy, we're talking football. We're also gonna be talking twins, setting your fantasy rosters as well, and mixing family in for the fun of it. But as we always do, we start game on by the numbers. And when we look at the numbers, yep, the Vikings have lost four of their last five games. This is their first home game since November 11th. Windy City struggles, yeah, the Bears are struggling too, losers in three of their last four. And Tough day could mean Marshall Cutler, but you gotta have some hope. Great to start game on in this beautiful practice facility with the man, the general manager of the Minnesota Vikings, Rick Spielman. Thank Thanks you for, for having me on. Thank you for having us here. Let's first of all talk about family. It's been a rough couple of weeks for the Minnesota Vikings, but you leave uh, work and you immerse yourself with nothing but kids and family. This is great stuff. Yeah, no, it's um, it's great to have this event here to make uh, awareness of adoption. And I know everything that you do for adoption through your uh, golf, golf and, outing yeah. and everything you do for it. And it's just such a, a dear cause to, to me and Rob Brzezinski. And, and, you know, Rob has adopted five children. We've adopted six children. I know. And that there is uh, no, no reason why every ch kid shouldn't have an opportunity to experience family and to experience love and what family is about. It's all about forever families and you really walk the walk here and make a lot of people happy and, and give back to the community in a big way. Yeah, and I think that's very important. And you know, we don't do it you know, for the recognition. Right. We do it um, because that's the way we were going to have our family. And we, we look at it where by us not being able to have a family and to go through adoption and to have those kids come in, it, it's it's a blessing to me and my wife that yeah. we are able to experience a family that we never could have had if we did not go through adoption. Football and family, and a couple of quick questions about football. We had the Bears in town, finally good after almost a month. Thank you to the schedule makers okay. to get the Vikings home. And a little bit of a quarterback controversy, other than just the fans a little bit restless, but. He's still your man. Yeah, and, and we're going with Christian Ponder. I know it can be a, a, a frustrating things at times as young quarterbacks go through their growth spurts. And you have to look at the whole picture and you know look at where he was at the beginning of the season, some of the issues that he, he's taken a step back in some areas, but how hard he's working, how hard our coaching staff is working to get him back on track and get us back on track to winning. A win changes everything, doesn't it? it it's, it's, yeah, it's, it's a pretty easy uh, solution. You win yeah. and then a lot of the uh, issues go away. And I'm, I'm just stunned because when the season started, there were so many people picking the Vikings not to do very well. Players always thought they were gonna do great. They come out of the gate, you know, doing very, very well. And the expectations kind of change, but that's part of the football life. No, and you have to remember, this is a long season. Yeah. And everybody's going to go through their adversities in a season. Yeah. I don't think there's anyone that's perfect right now in the NFL. True enough. And, you know, you have to continue to, to do what you know is right, continue to get ready to play. And, and you know, we, we expected in the preseason that, that we want to get to the Super Bowl. But I think if you don't have that mindset when you go into training camp, why are you going into training camp and Absolutely. putting all that work and all that effort in? And you have that mindset every week you know, to go out there and win a ball game. You're never going to go out there with the intentions of losing a ball game. 
And so, you know, we're, we're continuing to grow. Um, we do got a lot of first and second year guys playing for us right yeah. now, but we have some very good veteran leadership out there as well. And, um, you know, at this point to say you're, you're in December and, and you're still in the playoff hunt and these games, these games do mean a lot, this, these next four games down the stretch here. Yeah, season's not over. Thank you for being with us. Thanks for having me on. Always good to have you here, and thank you for doing this great event each and every year. Thank you for everything you do for Rick it. Rick Spielman <laughs> is in the house, general manager of the Vikings, only here. It's Game On. So I just want to thank everybody for the support. Thank you, everybody, for come out. And uh, let's get the Chicago Bears this weekend. Thank you. We made it easier for you to get your game on. Please download our new Game On app available on your iPhone and Android too. You're going to find shows, photos, all kinds of cool stuff. You can also get inside Game On. Our site has updates and blogs, all the good information. And we link you to our partner site, which is purplepride.org. Check us out, gameontvmn.com. Time for Voice of the Fan. Rob Brzezinski weighing in on just what exactly this big event is all about. It's a, it's a celebration of adoption. You know, Rick and I, we, it's, it's dear to our hearts. Um, I have five adopted children and Rick has six, and we're just out here to celebrate adoption in general, but also raise awareness and have people understand that this is a beautiful, wonderful experience, and we hope to share it with others. On deck, one of the newest and most exciting Vikings weighs in on family and football. Only here on okay. game. Hi, I'm Christian Ponder with the Minnesota Vikings. I know how important it is to fuel up so that I can be successful on and off the field. As a partner with the Taste of the NFL and the NFL's Play 60 programs, I am proud to encourage all of my fellow NFL players to do our part to make sure kids get the nutrition they need to learn and play at their best. Go to tasteofthenfl.com and nfl.com to find out how you can help. Welcome to the team. Bud Light, the official beer of NFL fans who do whatever it takes. Here we go. Nothing like seeing kids have a great time. We're at the Vikings practice facility indoors, cold outside, warm in, and kids just having a great time in the name of adoption, the family fun night brought by the Vikings, the Brzezinski's, and the Spielman's. One great day. And back on the field, delighted to have number one seven with us, Jarius Wright of the Minnesota Vikings. How are you? I'm doing great. And thank you for being with the kid. You're having a blast. Are you getting carpal tunnel from all the autographs? Uh, not carpal tunnel. Uh, I'm, I'm from Arkansas where, you know, the college is only, you know, no NFL team. So yeah. I'm used lot, to signing a lot of autographs. A lot so. of signings. Before we talk about football, is did you expect to be so entrenched and involved in the community coming out of college and coming into the pros because the Vikings, you guys really do get involved with the Vikings, especially today. Oh, uh, you know, I, I really didn't expect to be this involved in the communities. Yeah. I really didn't expect to have as many opportunities to be involved in the community. Yeah. Coming out of, out of college, uh, everybody always made the NFL seem like, uh, you know, it's kind of an independent, kind of a selfish thing, yeah. but uh, it's, it's definitely haven't, haven't been this way with the Vikings. Well, the kids have loved having you uh, around and being a part and good throws. Uh, might be calling you to be some quarterback and just kidding. Let's talk about the football team. And you guys, you guys know exactly what you have to do against the Bears. A win takes care of everything. Uh, like you said, we know exactly what we have to do. And we've been taking it week to week, sometimes not playing up to where we know we can play and not being a team we know we can be. But uh, you know, the, the guys, the guys are bouncing back great. It shows a lot of character that we have by coming out every Wednesday. You know, after we've lost, we came out every Wednesday and practice even harder. So it shows a lot of character we have. You look at this Bears football team, it's a team that you guys know you can beat. It's, it's not a situation where you're, 
intimidated by the schedule. And now that we know that Brian Urlacher's out, I mean, they're they're a banged up team too. You're finally home after a month. That's got to be big. Uh, you know, th that is very big for us. Like you said, we, we know we can we know we can beat them. Uh, we feel we can beat anybody in the NFL, just yeah. depending on how we how we come out and play. If we come out and play like we know how to play. We have the playmakers on offense, defense, and special teams to be any team in the NFL. But um, back to back to the Chicago Bears, uh, yeah. they they are a little banged up. Uh, we're, we're we're also a little banged up, but it's just great to be able to come home after after a month of football. It's been crazy. And and real quickly before I let you go, I got to ask you a couple of questions. About, you're a hidden gem. You're uh, just itching for the opportunity to get the ball, and you make things happen. Um, all my life, I've just try to be a playmaker on the field and work it work as hard as I can and each and every day I work hard in practice and I feel like that's that's what helped me help me make my way to where I'm at, where I am now yeah. and, and and even you know people may have thought I wasn't ready but when I got in yeah. I took full advantage of my opportunity and that's because just how hard I've worked in practice. You keep doing that. We're cheering for you every time, 1-7. We're excited to have you with us. Thank you. I'm glad and to be here. Thank you for being with the kids and giving back and go give the Bears heck. Oh, thank you. Will do. Jarius Wright is here. He's part of Game On. Time again for Voice of the Fan, Rob Brzezinski on the Vikings and their mission to give back. It's, it's, these are the, our players, number one. Um, we're looking for players that want to give back and have good hearts and, and want to make a difference in the community. Our owners insist on those type of people in our organization and uh, we are blessed to have good people who want to give back and want to make a difference. You can keep up with the Wolves in the NBA with my weekly blog at simonsaysattimberwolves.com. Stay connected to all things inside the Timberwolves at this great NBA website. Drop me a note too, rod at gameontvmn.com and look for a new Simon Says blog every Thursday at timberwolves.com. Still more before we're wrapped, we'll take you deep inside Target Field with one-of-a-kind memorabilia. And next, an adoptive dad who plays for the Vikings, only here on Game On. The Timberwolves Meal Deal presented by Papa John's is a great way to save money and watch Kevin Love, Brandon Roy, and Andre Kirilenko bring a playoff atmosphere back to Target Center. For just $25, you get an upper level ticket, a hot dog, chips, small Pepsi, and a coupon for a free large Papa John's pizza. Tickets are only available for purchase in advance of game day. To purchase your meal deal tickets, go to Timberwolves.com slash meal deal. The Minnesota Timberwolves, Wolves United. It starts your morning with a forecast, then watches your energy use all day. It can change your temperature from anywhere in the world, prevent you from heating and cooling an empty house, and still give you a comfortable welcome home. The iComfort Wi-Fi from Lennox. The most advanced comfort control solution available anywhere is now available for your home. So call Liberty Comfort Systems and make your home a smart home today. Lennox, innovation never felt so good. Welcome back, it's Game On at the Vikings practice facility in Winter Park. This is Joe Berger and this is Blake. Hi, little guy. Can you say hi? Can you say hi? He's no. busy, <laughs> busy looking at the game. How are you? Good. You're doing very nice well. Nice to have you here. I would imagine after the last few weeks that you guys have had as a team, it's nice to come home to a family. Oh, luxury. family's awesome, yeah. It's always good to have a good family at home. Turn off the talk radio and go home straight <laughs> yeah. to family. Right, it's always good to have family. This is all about adoption. We've been seeing the pictures and folks at home know that I have a golf tournament, golf for the gift of adoption. It's important not only to create these forever families, but to let people know that it's okay to adopt, it's cool. Yeah, exactly. And uh, you know, we've it's been a great experience for us and uh, you know, it's something we would, I mean, it's just awesome. Yeah. It, it fits like a glove, doesn't it? Oh, exactly, exactly. Yeah. Blake, are you having a fun time tonight? Yes. Yes. Yeah. yes. <laughs> what, how hard has it been during the, um, with your career and all the time that you spend away from family? Are there challenges involved? There is, but I think that, uh, you know, first of all, having a great wife, you know, that takes care of the home and uh, has all that taken care of for you and um, just being able to, make that time, make it a priority to come home and be a good dad and know that that's, you know, that's the most important thing you can do is be a good husband and a good father for your kids. I love it too because it's a priority to the players, not just the organization, to 
to let people know about these different causes, including adoption, which is really right in your heart. Yeah, yeah. I mean, um, you know, the first we talked about adoption before we got married, and uh, my wife's uh, dad aged out of a, a, a home in, uh, in Ireland where he grew up. And so it's been something that was very important to her and, uh, you know, became important to me. And, uh, you know, something we knew we wanted to do at some point. Yeah. And the time was right, you know, and, uh, you know, that's when little Blakey came into our lives. I, l I, l I just love that. Now, you guys got some work to do. Yeah. Against, against the bears here. Yeah. And, you know, I'm listening to talk radio and stuff, and it seems like uh, the sky is falling, the sky is falling, but I look at the players and... It's just another business uh, adventure. Yeah, I mean, we know that we have the answers in the room, and uh, you know, we gotta fix fix some stuff amongst ourselves, and uh, we'll be good to go. What's it like blocking for uh, that number twenty-eight? Oh, it's unbelievable. It makes you know makes our job so much easier when you have a guy like that sit running behind you. He's that guy is lovingly a freak. He's amazing. Yeah, yeah he is. He's an amazing running back. Unbelievable. Well, thank you very much. Great to have you with us. Yeah, and, thanks for having uh, me, Blake. Thank you for being here. He's busy. <laughs> Blake and Papa, only here. It's game on. Time again for Voice of the Fan, Rob Brzezinski on raising awareness. Yeah, we feel like adoption is for everyone. It's not just uh, for people that may have fertility issues, but if you have it in your heart, if you have the resources, if you have room in your home, there's kids out there that need families and everybody deserves to grow up in a family and, and with love and, and we're hoping to, to spread that word. Before we're finished, we're setting your fantasy football roster. But next, Clyde Deppner, the memory man for the Minnesota Twins. Being creative is who we are. At Wallingburg and Deeply, families are our passion. We help create new families. This combination of experience, passion, and creativity allows us to fully represent individuals in family court crises. Walling, Berg, and Deeply believes in families. We will listen, counsel, and advocate for you. Walling, Berg, and Deeply, the premier family law firm of Minnesota. Twin City Wireless doesn't care about our competitors. We care about you, the customer. We care that you get the best prices. Plans starting at $40 a month, unlimited text, talk, international text, and internet. Twin Cities Wireless carries all the latest models of phones and accessories and handles all service providers. At Twin City Wireless, your problem is our problem. Twin City Wireless now has two locations, Brooklyn Center and Northeast Minneapolis. Twin City Wireless, it's not just business, it's personal. Welcome back to Game On. Great to have you with us from Winter Park, the Vikings indoor practice facility where the Adoption Fun Fest continues and kids having a great time celebrating forever families, thanks to the Brzezinski's, the Spielman's, and the Minnesota Vikings. You know, this time of year, we're talking football. Playoffs, hoping the Vikings beat the Bears, but very quietly over at Target Field with the tarp on the field and winter settling in, they're busy in the basement. It's all about memorabilia, part two, with Clyde Depp. This is the Tom Mee Library. And this is where all the books end up. It's also my work area. And so my project has been the last five days is to do an inventory of what we have in season tickets, in, in game use tickets. So the first ticket that I have here is April 21, 1961, first Major League Baseball game at Metropolitan Stadium. Full tickets are really rare. Because back then they were ripped. And like the full ticket I got from game one, a um, guy read about me in the paper and dropped it in the mail and said back in 61 his boss came into his office and, and about 3.30 in the afternoon and said, here's the ticket for the first game ever at Met Stadium, why don't you go? He said, well, by the time he wrapped up his work, it was 4.15, he turned on the radio and they were in the eighth inning and he went home. He said, I got off, he said, by the time I got there, the game would have been over. He had that ticket all those years. So who gets it all when uh, that day comes? Well, I hope to have a museum across the street. There's a Ford building right across the street. They actually made Model T Fords there. Nice. And I hope to have a museum there someday. I bring it up enough, they know what, what the desire is. Nice. I've got it drawn out. You give me 15,000 square feet and I'll show you. You're gonna walk in in 1869 where some people say baseball started. Mm -hmm. And it's gonna be the history of balls and bats and gloves and equipment. 
and then all of a sudden the Washington Senators, our parent company, starts up team, yeah. and all of a sudden we're into the Washington Senators era, and then they decide to move here after the 60 uh, season, and we start up here in 61, and I, I know what it's going to be and what the cases are going to look like, and so that's my goal. I, my real legacy would be that I got that done before I could. That's a beautiful you know, thing. Yeah. <laughs> Time now for the Bud Light lineup. The Vikings will be at St. Louis on the 16th. Two big ones for the Wolves on the 12th and 15th. Gopher football goes bowling against Texas Tech and Gopher basketball against North Dakota State. North Dakota on the court against Northern Colorado. There's North Dakota State, South Dakota State on the 15th, and South Dakota hosts Ball State on the 15th as well. On the ice, the Minnesota men against Air Force, St. Cloud State and Colorado College, UND on the 15th, and North Dakota State at Williston State. If the Wild were playing hockey, they'd be busy on the 18th against Chicago. The Twins will open against Torrey Hunter in Detroit on the 1st. The Champions Tour and the Swarm back on the field January 26th against Washington. We'd love for you to catch the Game On podcast with Rod Webby and the A-Train. Looking at Game On's week ahead, our guests, all our inside information, and more. Email us at gameontvmn.com for more information. And that's your Bud Light. On deck, almost time to set your roster. The Guru is back only here on Game On. Linux is more than just a name. We lead the way in home comfort products. Our invention of the first forced air furnace back in 1895 changed the way America lives. Liberty Comfort Systems is a Linux premier dealer. That means they're trained and evaluated to meet the highest standards in the industry. Linux continues to lead with high efficiency technology and superior equipment. And it's all backed by Liberty Comfort Systems, some of the best people in the business. Linux, innovation never felt so good. Looking for a fun night out with the guys? Guys Night Out with the Minnesota Timberwolves, presented by Coors Light, is a great excuse to get the guys together and see all-star Kevin Love, Ricky Rubio, and Brandon Roy. For only $18, you'll get an upper-level ticket, a free beer, and an exclusive souvenir cup. Tickets are only available for purchase in advance of game day. For more information about Guys Night Out and to purchase your tickets, go to Timberwolves.com guys. It's Guys Night Out for just $18. The Minnesota Timberwolves, Wolves United. Welcome back from Winter Park, the Vikings practice facility in Eden Prairie. It's game on. Great to have you with us and great to have the fantasy guru in the house. And you've been to the golf for the gift. Yes. So you've seen a lot of kids and fun times. You've been to this great adoption event with the Spielmans and Brzezinski's, what they put on. Being a dad, you got to love all the kids running around um, having a great time. Yeah, it's really nice to see smiles on kids' faces. and. Yeah. Just uh, watching them have a good time. It is good stuff, and let's dive right into it. You've had a smile on your face all yeah. week because you were three and zero last week, taking a lot of shots from your viewers out there. Yes, I was. So your back's a little bit yeah. straighter this yeah, this week. It was nice walking into work on Monday morning, uh, having secured playoffs in all three of my leagues. So. Very nice. So let's get right at it, Kyle Rudolph. Kyle Rudolph, uh, he's uh, now that he's back and healthy, he's a very viable option. You should consider starting him. Uh, with his 42 catches and eight touchdowns. He's about 13th in the league uh, overall in tight ends with fantasy points, so. If you're one of the folks out there that has number 28, wears purple, you're really having a good season. Oh, absolutely. Um, I remember saying it before the season started, considering taking him in the first overall pick, uh, but I did not, but he's on his way to 2,000 yards. It's not you know, out, out of reason for him to do that. Uh, and you'd like to see him score a little bit more, but we still have four more weeks. These names may have been obscure when the season started. Ain't no more. Colin Kaepernick. Yeah, Colin Kaepernick has uh, come on. He's an uh, injury replacement for Alex Smith four weeks ago. Um, he's come in and uh, used his strong arm to make big plays, and he's running. And, you know, again, I like the running quarterbacks. And he is a good put in terms of starting. Yeah, this week he'll be going up against the Miami defense right. at home. Okay. Um, and San Francisco's tough at home. They usually are, are pretty dominant there. So, Tell us about Bryce Brown. Bryce Brown is a running back who took over for LaShawn McCoy uh, several weeks ago. And uh, he's seizing the moment. I mean, he's uh, really playing hard. And, and those are the kind of uh, under the radar guys that you want to 
you know, put your faith into come playoff time. Another one is Cecil Shorts. Yeah, Cecil Shorts. Uh, remember uh, back week two, he had a big touchdown against the Vikings. Uh, no one really knew who he was then, but he has come on of late. He's a favorite target for no matter who's throwing the ball in Jacksonville. Right. Okay, question out of the Jeremy mailbag is uh, concerning Arian Foster and Justin Forsett. Would you not start Arian Foster this week? You will want to monitor his carries um, over the next week or two just to make sure it doesn't get out of hand. Okay. But, I mean, he's your number one pick. He's your first-round guy. You yeah. have to you know, go with the dogs who got to there, I guess. Right. Once the season runs its course, there is playoff fantasy football and yep. you've got a big playoff challenge going for game on yes we do um, it's called the game on fantasy football playoff challenge um, we're gonna have you the viewers uh, email lineups and we'll have drafts uh, and more information to come uh, but we have some gift cards from Malone's uh, as one of our sponsors for it so it'll be a lot of fun go to the website game on for more information or just drop Jeremy a note and start it out nicely because he's been taking a few hits. You doing all right? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Very, very nice. Good job, fantasy guru Thank in the you. house. Only here on Game On. Time now for a Game On update. It's back. Kevin Love's fifth annual coat drive. Now through December 12th, Love is inviting fans to bring new and gently used coats to any of the eight metro area drop off locations. That includes the Target Center box office and Comcast service centers. Please, let's help those in need with the Kevin Love Coat Drive. And that's your Game One Update. Time again for the Mayak Minute. The 2012 fall season is complete in the Mayak and the race for the All Sports Trophy is still extremely close. St. Thomas ahead on the men's side. The St. Olaf women currently sit atop the women's standings one third of the way through the year. Again on the men's side, St. Thomas is followed by St. John's, St. Olaf, Bethel and Gustavus. On the women's side, St. Olaf, that 42 points, it's the best after the fall season. The Mayak's top coach in football goes to St. Thomas's Glenn Caruso. That's his third straight Mayak Coach of the Year Award. Congratulations to all the students and coaches as the Mayak season continues. And that's your Mayak Minute. Busy show it's been, that is it for us. Don't forget, go to our website. We've got a lot of big information coming your way as we close 2012 and head into 2013. Big stuff ahead for Game On. We'd love for you to check it out. We're gonna put it all on our website at gameontvmn.com. So until next week, have a great week and keep your game on. We like to think that adoption is an option for everybody to think about and hopefully we can find more homes for children. Like Rick said, you know, every child should grow up in a home uh, with a family and, and full of love.